Hi, I'm Jason. This video is on emotions. Emotions are mental states that signal positive or negative outcomes. One function of emotions may be to act as a commitment device. The emotion of guilt can constrain a desire to cheat, where cheating delivers a higher payoff. This in turn may allow people to trust you. The emotion of anger may lead you to punish someone, even where delivering the punishment also harms you. This in turn may lead people to be less likely to cheat you. While this behavior may appear irrational, it allows people to make credible commitments that in turn allow them to enter beneficial trades and cooperative arrangements while being less likely to being cheated. Consider the following quote from Richard Nixon. I call it the madman theory, Bob. I want the North Vietnamese to believe I've reached the point where I might do anything to stop the war. We'll just slip the word to them that, for God's sake, you know Nixon is obsessed about communism. We can't restrain him when he's angry, and he has, has the, his hand on the nuclear button. And Ho Chi Minh himself will be in Paris in two days, begging for peace. Pushing the nuclear button is not in Nixon's interest, and from a purely rational perspective, may not be a credible threat. If a madman has his finger on the button, the calculation changes. Recall an example from an earlier video on sequential gains and commitment regarding a customer threatening to complain if they receive bad service. Complaining is costly. We work through this problem by backward induction. At the final node for the customer, they can complain for a payoff of minus one or not complain for a payoff of one. They will not complain. The company therefore has a choice between providing good service for a payoff of one or bad service for a payoff of two. They'll provide bad service. The company has the same payoff for bad service, regardless of the presence of the threat to complain, as the threat is not credible. For the customer's initial choice of whether they're threatened to complain, it does not matter either way. Regardless of their threat, they receive bad service. What if the customer gets a strong sense of satisfaction from complaining, worth plus three? Their payoffs become as follows. The threat to complain is now credible. If they receive bad service, they can complain for a payoff of two rather than not complain for a payoff of one. The company now provides good service following a threat to complain. Absent that threat, they'll provide bad service. As another example, recall the game of chicken. Two players are driving toward each other. Whoever swerves first loses. If neither swerves, they crash and die. There are two pure strategy Nash equilibria, sweat, straight swerve and swerve straight. If the other player swerves, they want to go straight. If the other player goes straight, they want to swerve. Now suppose player A is crazy. They're afraid of nothing and will never swerve. Player B knows this. Player A's craziness acts as a commitment device similar to that of removing the steering wheel. If player A will not swerve, player B will. The Nash equilibrium is straight swerve. The crazy player A wins the game of chicken. <laughs>